It's late March, and the new hot fantasy game sequel that everybody's been waiting for has just come out. It's time to start a new Let's Play of Rift Wizard 2. Look, I'm not look, I'm not a Dragon's Dogma kind of guy, right? Look, I just It wasn't for me. Who cares about that? We're not here to talk about Dragon's Dogma. It's Rift Wizard time. Let's go. Uh, this is a sequel to Rift Wizard, which was, I don't know. I would say the best roguelike from 2021. That might be a little I didn't play all of them, okay? It was my favorite roguelike from 2021. I thought it was an excellent game. Uh, there's a lot of things that are brilliant about it, and I think th the sequel here is going to be cleaving pretty closely to uh, a lot of what the original was doing. So you'll get to see what I liked about it uh, as we go through here, but it's just, it was just one of the cleanest designs that I'd seen in such a long time. It felt like everything had a purpose, and it was so intricate. Like, simple on the surface, but extremely deep uh, and extremely challenging. Uh, I played the game f quite a bit, and I, I only cleared it twice, and both of those were so long ago that I don't really remember them. Uh, I can't think of really any other roguelikes that I got worse at over time. I'm not sure if worse is necessarily. My success rate decreased over time. Uh, I think that speaks volumes about what we're in for and, uh, and the, kind of, the kind of video game we're dealing with here, but I really loved it. And uh, I've been excited about the sequel. It is in early access, it's not like out-out, alright? But I've been looking forward to it. So, yeah, let's just get into it. And uh, I'll explain as we go. Welcome back once again, wizard, to the ruins of the universe. Eons passed while you slumbered. You have slept walk. You have slept walk. You have slept walk. Walk? You have walk. Slept walk. Okay, I have a complaint. <laughs> that didn't take that long. I slept walked doesn't sound great, but I'm pretty sure that that's probably what it should be. I, look, I, let, let's not focus on this too much. You have slept walked across many worlds. Weep for Avalon, O lonely old wizard. Love and beauty transmuted into chaos and ruin. Your beloved Avalon, and you, her loyal servant as well. Once a great wizard, your memories and magics have faded. No thirst for vengeance. awakens you. The Dark Wizard Mordred is nearby. Regain your power. Slay Mordred. Vengeance for Avalon. Wow, that's about all of the the plot we're gonna get as far as I as far as I know and uh, that was significantly more than in the original game. So yes, this is our end of phase. We've got the battlefield here in the middle uh, and our status and inventory on the left. Uh, there are enemies in play. Goblins. They have seven hit points and they can deal two attack damage in melee. Uh, there's a goblin spawner up here, which is pretty much the main goal that we'll be needing to get rid of in order to progress to the next stage. Uh, and then there are rifts that let us progress to the next level, but unlike the original game, we can't see where they go until we actually clear out all this stuff. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to learn some spells and do wizardy things. So, if we check here, we can see our spell list. There are many spells in the game. <laughs> there are like a lot. And uh, you do have access to any of them at any time as long as you have enough uh, SP to pay the cost to learn them. Uh, to start with, we have one. So it means our options are somewhat limited. Uh, still still have a lot of possibilities here. Uh, looks like all the level one spells from the original game are returning here, although there is a new one uh, that is from a new school, the Blood School. Uh, oh God, how the fuck am I gonna handle this? Oh no, maybe I didn't think this through properly. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of reading in this game. I don't mind reading stuff out loud, but, uh, I feel like going through every single one of them is going to bog things down pretty, pretty significantly here. So let me just take a little look and see what I feel like picking up here. Deathbolt looks pretty similar to how it used to be. So, uh, as you can see, the spell has, you know, all of its base attributes. We can see the level, which is how much it costs to learn it. Uh, they have a range, they have an amount of charges, which are per stage now, I believe. Uh, Deathbolt here does damage, and then if it kills a living unit, it raises them as a skeleton. The skeleton has hit points equal to the slain unit's maximum, and it does uh, has a five damage melee attack. 
Well, that's all pretty straightforward. Uh, and you can see that there are upgrades that are uh, applicable to the spell. Another change that this game has made is that upgrades are now exclusive. You can only get one upgrade per spell, uh, as opposed to in the original game, uh, spells had a, usually had a lot of upgrades available and they were very powerful. So you were incentivized to like, once you had sort of committed to a spell to like really invest into it to make it really strong. Uh, but yeah, your, your options are a lot more limited in that regard now. Anyway, so uh, as far as the, the basic stuff we have available here... Fireball is a fireball. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Does 9 damage in a 2 tile burst. Great. Icicle, it's a single tile of physical damage and then it and the tile around it also take ice damage. A cast on a chasm tile, it creates a floor tile. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can like make a little bridge for yourself. Well, that's new. Right, Life Rain is a new spell. 3 dark damage to target unit each turn for 15 turns. Healing the caster for the same amount. Wow. You got very sparing access to ways to like heal yourself in the in the original game. So this is pretty interesting. Blood type also heals two random living allies. Blood type also drains life from two random enemy units up to three tiles away from the target. Life drain gains minus one requires line of sight. You can cast it without actually having to have line of sight to the target. There's no way to upgrade its damage by default, so you'd have to find some other way to do that. Interesting. Lightning Bolt's back. You do a beam of lightning. It's a straight line. It's a lightning bolt. I mean, look. The spells, for the most part, they do what you think they would do, which is good. It's all very wizardy stuff. If you've if you've ever wizarded in basically anything, it, it's fairly intuitive. Magic Missile, a classic. It's, mm, you know, not very strong, but you get a lot of them. Uh, poison Sting, which inflicts poison. There are various statuses in the game that do things. Poison uh, sucks. Well, I mean, it's pretty strong to use against your enemies. Uh, it sucks when you get poison because you can't heal, and that's been responsible for many deaths over the course of my playthroughs. Almost as many as I, I've been responsible for when I blew myself up by accident. And then you've also got summon wolves. Well, they start with a leap attack. Is that always the case? And then there's like a million other spells. God, uh, so one thing that I uh, <laughs> I used to do is I would check the rifts that were available at the start so I could see like, oh, was is there something that's pushing me in a specific direction in terms of what spell I want to take here at the start? Uh, I can't do that anymore. So it really is just, hey, what are you feeling today? I don't know. I, I mean, I guess maybe I should just take life drain because it's new. It's new. I'm probably just gonna uh, fail a lot in this game anyway, so whatever, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, this is our effective range. All right, so uh, everything in this game works on a turn cycle. Uh, you take an action and all the enemies take an action. Um, there is a sequence to it, but you know, it like, oh, right, because they, yeah, it's gonna take a little while to actually kill units with the life drain. Whatever, just run over here. Uh, yep, mm-hmm, ouch, no. Oh. Well, I guess taking little bits of damage uh, isn't really that big of a deal while we have this life train spell, so. Uh, 15 by three is 45, so that's not going to kill this spawner? No, it will. Yeah. Uh, although we do have another change from the original game is that you get all your spell casts, like all your charges of your spells, back at the end of a stage. Uh, you used to have to use mana potions for it, so we're not going to be looking to conserve these uh, between stages anymore, so we can be a little more liberal with our, our uses. Anyway, yay, we beat the first floor. Uh, so on this floor we have a bunch of rifts, which will be basically the next floor that we're going to. Um, and we also have memory orbs, which give us spell points, skill points, whatever they are. They let us learn new spells and stuff, which is good. Um, oh yeah, and we also, I, I guess, uh, we have a little inventory here. Healing potions, which fully restore your health. We have mana potions, uh, fully restores all your charges. So these are a lot rarer than they used to be, since you now, like, full restore at the end of a stage. 
these are for emergencies, basically. A lot of the items are very powerful, but they're one use, you know, they're consumables, so you use them to get through uh, big troubles. Also, we have a teleporter, um, which just gives you a one time you can go wherever the hell you want on the map, uh, which we will not be, be using in this case. Okay, so we need to decide what floor we're going to next. When you enter a rift, you get to preview what the floor is going to look like. You can see the different enemy types that will be available. So there are snakes, uh, which, you know, they're not that strong, but they do poison you, which is annoying. Uh, and there are fire lizards that spit fire at you, which, you know, also annoying. There's also... what well, it gives you a summary on this page. So we get more skill points. We get two mana potions and... or sorry, one mana potion, two healing potions, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, and there's also a pet shop. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> How do you... it's a shop? What do you trade for? There's no money in this game, like... Do you just get to pick one, maybe? I don't know. I did a brief test recording before and I found a spell scroll. And, um... That was basically like, you would enter the space and then it would... You'd get to pick one of the, uh... Available spells to just learn instantly. So maybe the pet shop is a similar concept? Armor chest... Yeah, also equipment, uh, generally. That's a new thing as well. And uh, it's replaced the shrines. The shrines used to give you like modifiers you could apply to a spell. And instead you just get equipment, which do things. I don't know, man. Look, I, <laughs> I'm i still uh, processing, learning the game here. I don't know what they do exactly, but presumably good things. Anyway, we got orcs over here. Uh, they're kind of chunky, but they're still fairly straightforward. And we've got ravens, which... Uh, resist dark damage, which is a bit of a problem for our life drain, uh, spell here. Uh, last possibility here... The enemies we're dealing with are two-headed snakes. They're basically just two snakes stapled together, and when they die, they turn into those two snakes. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, void bombers, which explode and do a pretty considerable amount of damage. Uh, which is is a bad time. They only have one hit point though And they spawn more. Oh, there's also a heart here which increases your max HP And a chaos bell which if I recall correctly uh, Yeah, it berserks half it's a 50% chance per enemy on the screen To go berserk and for 10 turns and then they fight each other I don't know. I want to check the... I kind of want the armor chest because, like, the equipment seems like it's kind of a big new thing for this game. But the ravens are going to be kind of tough for me to handle. Anyway, this seems cool, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I... Uh, I believe damage is rounded down usually on resistance, so it means that each tick of life drain is only going to do one damage to these birds. Like, they will die. But it's gonna take like 13 turns, which is like I'm gonna they're gonna peck the shit out of me before I can really get much going. It's also gonna kill these orcs quite slowly. It seems like it's a bad like I might not I'm not just gonna die necessarily, but it seems like a pretty bad matchup and it's gonna be very slow to deal with all this stuff. So So this is the 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 balancing act of uh of Rift Wizard is like you have you get access to all these spells so you can at any time learn something new in order to help you deal with the current situation that you're looking at but if you end up spending too much of your resources on things that aren't necessarily making you more powerful that they're just dealing with the problem in front of you you can dead end your run uh it's a bad time i've certainly done that uh most of the time <laughs> to be honest so we could look for a spell that'll just like, it'll deal with the orcs and the and the birds nice and clean, no problem. But, you know, how, how uh, efficient it's going to be in the long run, it's not entirely clear. I did, so I started with this blood spell. So you can see that on the top right, we've got like different, um, I don't know, schools of magic that a spell belongs to. Uh, and you can filter by those and some of there are things that will care about uh, You know a specific School of magic and will make things better stronger for them or more efficient So it can be quite useful to try and specialize into one in particular So maybe we'll just focus on these for now boiling blood is back. This is an old spell, but obviously the blood 
school didn't exist before. But it pretty much does uh, what it used to. I don't think I ever used this. There are a lot of spells that I never used because there's a lot of <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff in this game. Uh, anyway, it only applies to allied units, which I don't have any of currently, so that's not really super relevant. The Bone Spear, range 8. It costs 5 hit points to use. Oh. 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 Life Drain also costs a hit point. I didn't notice that. Okay, Blood Spells take your life in order to use them. That would explain why they give you access to this Life Drain thing uh, in order to sustain that. Got it. Got it. Understood. Okay, 16 damage in a line. It can target and destroy a wall tile. Wow, that's cool. It's just a straight physical damage. That's it. Sorcery blood. That's really... You got very little access to like just raw physical damage uh, in the original. That seems cool. Um, you can upgrade it to also deal fire damage. Damn. Whenever the spirit kills a unit, up to three enemy units within three tile radius take 16 poison damage. Damn. And then, or you could apply it to give it stun, three turns of stun. But the other possibility I have now is summon a Gotia. This is an enemy type from the original. They're a stupid pain in the ass because they just like teleport around and they can't move on their own, but they like randomly blink uh, all over the place. And then they just, they have a spell, I don't know if it's a spell. It's an ability where they give all of their allies basically like a damage buff. So they'll just like spam it over and over again. And then if you someone ends up getting close to you, they just bite you and you just die. It's really annoying, actually. I guess getting one of these on on my side, would it buff me? Would it buff my damage if I if that's how it works? I don't know. Oh, you can actually see the summoned unit stats in the thing. Hey, that's a good change. Thumbs up for that. You used to just kind of have to like, you know, guess sort of how like you wouldn't be able to see the specific stats of a summoned unit from a spell until you used it and then looked at the unit so being able to get that summary here really nice good change okay it has a pounce well that's different uh it also teleports yep and then on death deals five dark damage to all tiles in a radius of one. Oh, oh this this unit is significantly different from the old enemy then i mean it seems pretty strong i guess but i don't know if i'm doing like a a summoner kind of thing, to be honest. Well, it seems like there's a fair amount of conjuration spells that do summon or our our blood as well. This thing has 400 hit points. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's not get too distracted looking at the really uh, expensive fancy spells because I'm literally never going to get anywhere if uh, if I'm doing that. Okay. So if I get the bone spear. How many charges does this have? It doesn't have charges. It doesn't have charges? Oh, dude. So you can use these blood spells as many times as you want as long as you have the hit points to pay for them. Oh shit. Wow. That's really cool, actually. Okay, sure. We're just, we're doing this. Fuck it. I'll get the bone spear. Oh wait. I guess, okay, let's say we are going to, we're gonna do this one because I want to, I mean, you probably get more good stuff for doing this rift and it's probably easier, but I want to see what's going on with these armors. God damn it. So we're going to go in here, but since I can buy spells at any time, let me just decide where I'm going to land first. It's usually a good idea to try and get rid of the spawners early because, you know, that's your main issue in terms of like spell efficiency, you know? So there's one up the top right and one down there. I could just spawn in here, I guess. That's not terrible but there's also the thing if uh, if you you know start on a tile with uh you know an item or something you do get it immediately so i could like land on this armor chest and just grab whatever's in it right away and that would give me more information about what i should invest my sp into i guess yeah but i'm standing i'd be standing right next to this orc it doesn't seem like a very good position to be honest so let's just start here just play it safe uh okay so I should probably... Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Wait. Oh, this didn't actually give me any more information. I don't know why I bothered putting that off until just now. All right, let's grab the bone spear. And then... Uh, so does 16 damage. I guess I should... 
get the drain going on the spawner so I'm gaining hit points back when I start bone spearing stuff. Okay, yeah. This makes sense, I guess. And since the bone spear, I can use it as much as I like as long as I don't, you know, die. Ugh, okay, I can't really hit this guy from here. It's a bit annoying. One, take that. Oh, this guy spawned. Go away, please. Okay. And then I guess I'll drain life this. We need to bone spear these ravens away because I don't have... Oh, oh right, the bone spear has a penetrate. It's kind of like the, the lightning bolt where it'll hit everything in the line. Okay, that's probably good. Um, I'm going to start dying a lot if I don't <laughs> use the drain life, though. Uh, okay. So I can hit multiple targets like this, but that doesn't seem great, actually. But also this orc is just going to hit me with a stick, and that will do a lot of damage as well. Oh man, can you guys like line up a little better for me? Oh, uh, this is going to be kind of a delicate balancing act, isn't it? Uh, I could use more, more life. Okay, what if I just back myself all the way into this corner? I'm sure there's nothing wrong with this strategy. <laughs> oh god. I can't hit all three of them. Kinda sucks. Okay, I still have a lot of life drains, so I don't have to be too shy about just using them here, I guess, but... This was probably not the most efficient way of doing this. Gave 14, but then I have to, like, stall out. I need to get over here so I can start shooting down this hallway, you know? I guess I could just eat the physical damage this orc is gonna bludgeon me with, because I'm regenerating some life. Okay, we go like there, and I can like, I don't know, do that or something, and then, ow. Well, it doesn't seem like that was the best option that I could have taken there, but whatever. The problem is these orcs don't die before the life drain kills them, even if I hit them with it from max range. So I'm not actually making any progress if all I do is like use one life drain, but I will die if I'm not careful, so... Okay. The, uh... Yeah, okay. I don't know. Whatever. Just push forward a bit. It's fine. We can... We can make this work, probably. One life drain, one bone spear. It still puts me down on life, comparatively. <laughs> but I have to, like kite one around a little bit to regenerate life and then oh uh, this is I'm not I don't feel like I'm making a lot of progress here you know damn it I'm just gonna this is so stupid Ugh. I guess I should have like walked four there probably Whatever. Oh, whoops. Uh, probably shouldn't have got that close. Oh, right! I can target walls and destroy them. I forgot about that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you go to hell. Take care of that, please. Not close enough. God damn it. Alright, I can just wait it out from here. Oh, wait. Uh, right, so do You also, like, heal hit points? Yeah, yeah, after you beat the level. Alright, alright, alright. That was pretty fucking slow and stupid, but it did work, all right? <laughs> all right, let's grab all the stuff. Oh, right, this, yeah. So we have some armors. So like, th this is equipment, I guess it, do you want, I, I presume you have like multiple like body slots that you can fill, I guess. So the robe goes in the robe slot. Uh, resist lightning, resist dark. When you cast lightning or dark spell, deal eight lightning to a random enemy in line of sight and eight dark to another. Huh. That's kind of cool. 
Well, Life Drain is a dark spell, so that does apply. Eight to random, and I mean, that's a fair amount, like, okay. Uh, we've got this, nature spells and skills gain two max charges. Well, skills usually don't have charges, so that's kind of weird, but all right. Also it gives you immunity to poison. <laughs> well, I, I can think of a lot of occasions where that would have been coming fucking handy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're, we're not really spec to, to take advantage of that at the moment, so... Ice and Arcane. When you cast an Arcane or Ice spell, deal 8 Arcane to a random enemy in line of sight. And it, okay, it's the same it's the same concept as the, the this one, except it's for different damage types. Well, uh, I guess this. I guess I'm taking this. Maybe I should start looking into like doing lightning stuff or, or something if I'm using this. It doesn't work with the Bone Spear. It's kind of sad, actually. But these other spells are not super relevant. I guess I could check what's in these other rifts first. Box of wizard caps. Okay. Treasure chest. Oh man, look at all the good the goodies in there. And the giant spiders. <laughs> uh oh, also have oh, hey, this is a new feature. I didn't see this before. Reroll the destinations of all rifts once per level. What? You get once per level? You used to get a consumable item called like a rift disruptor that would let you do this, but like you know, you'd only find them occasionally. You can reroll all the rifts once per level. That's crazy. That's so good. The thing that kills you most often in this game is you look at all the rifts that are available to you and you get greedy and say, boy, I sure would like to see what's in that box of wizard caps. But then you look at like the enemies that are there and it's a ghost and the ghost is it resists your dark damage and it's immune to your physical. And you're like, boy, I sure can't kill that. But you, you weren't focusing on that. You were just trying to be greedy and get the strong thing that you wanted. And then you die. <laughs> um, anyway, rerolling rifts uh, is, is going to be quite useful, I think. Let's just have a little look. I mean, yeah, so speaking of which, so this ghost... I mean, the ghosts do die to the life drain, but it's pretty slow. It seems not good. It seems like a bad matchup for me. I guess let's have a look at this. There's more orcs over here. Witches, which... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they die to a single Bone Spear, so that's not too big of a deal. And then the Spriggans. Spriggans are kind of annoying, because when they die, they turn into a little bush that you then also have to kill. Oh, they have 50% Fizz Resist? Ugh. Okay, that's also annoying. I don't know if I like this one that much. What's actually here? Wizard Caps. And then, you know, a Healing Potion and a Stopwatch. The Golden Stopwatch, if it still works the way that it used to, it stuns all enemies for 10 turns, basically. And so down here, we've got a treasure chest. Uh, spiders are, are bastards. Uh, you can't trust them. Displacer beasts uh, suck, also. And firearms. But I mean, uh, I feel like we can basically handle this most of the stuff in here okay. And I'm curious about that chest. The things in that chest are very interesting to me. I will say, if we're doing this like life drain stuff or like spending hit points on my spells thing, uh, getting more max health would be nice, but I didn't really realize that, so I kind of skipped over the, the one that I had the option to actually do that for. Alright, whatever. Let's just grab this. I don't think there, either of these uh, other robes are going to be relevant. I now have this equipment. So, is this? can you like take it off? How does this work? If you get a new one, does it just replace it? I don't know. Probably, right? Uh, okay, how do I feel about my chances of completing this area without spending any more SP on stuff? I think I could probably do it, right? Uh, is there only one spawner? Oh no, there's a displacer spawner as well down here. And, uh, okay, they're on like complete opposite sides of the damn thing, so it's gonna be kind of annoying to take care of both of them. Uh, alright, giant spiders, they don't resist dark or anything, so they will die to life drain in like, five turns? I mean, it's better than the orcs, I guess, but... That's fine, I can, I can make something work with this, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so you see when I used the life drain, it like shot out some bolts of crap or whatever. I think one of them hit an imp and killed it maybe, or it... Yeah, I think that's what happened, and then one of them hit the spider over here. That's pretty cool. So that's just, I mean, it's a lot extra damage when we're casting life drains, although that hasn't really been the main thing that we've been focusing on up until this point, so... 
Oh, we can clear these. Uh, right, so the main thing is going to be heading down and getting rid of this stupid thing. I guess I should just kill this while I have the opportunity. Oh, there's another spawner over here. I didn't even see it, dude. Shit. Uh, this will die to it. Yeah, it has the same hit points as, as the other one. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. I can actually hit that with that. Wow. Cool. All right, just make this displacer beast go away. Hit you with that. Uh, fire imp. Uh, sucks. Okay, the spider, if I don't move, it will get to hit me before it dies to the life drain. Which sucks. I should... Oh, I'm not in range to life drain from here. Ugh. Back up. Let you die to that. Uh, this is a slightly inefficient, but whatever. Uh, that wasn't really what I wanted, but okay. I'm standing here now, I guess. Oh boy. Um... Okay, things are not lining up super effectively for me here, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, other than cry. Oh, what'd you get stunned by? Eh, you know what? I don't care. Oh, it's stood on a web, right. The spiders are leaving these webs around where if a unit moves into them, they get stunned for a turn. Uh, pretty annoying, but I guess it can affect the uh, other enemies too. You can see the little white thing. White, whatever, it's a square, blinking square at the top left. Shows that it's been stunned for a turn. Uh, okay, Displacer Beast will die. Right, I am regenerating because I had the thing on that, so... Alright, this is... This is fine. That's gonna die to that. Sure, oh. Okay, that's slightly awkward. I think, um... The effect of the robe that I'm wearing just killed the target that I tried to life drain. Uh... That's a bit of a downside to this particular combination of effects that I'm using. Not really sure what to say about that, other than that kind of sucks. Okay, this is still fine, I think. Yeah, I'm not. It's kind of hard to actually get life back in the, in the situations where there's not that many enemies on the screen anymore. Because the, the thing just kills him every time. Uh, okay, hang on. Whatever, let me just... Okay, we're, we're in no danger of, of dying to anything here, so we can just... Yep. We're all good. No problem. Alright, let's grab, let's grab all the things. Orb chest? What the hell is this? I don't know what the orbs do. Okay. I mean, it sounds intriguing. Lenses? I don't know what that is either. Maybe there are ways to, like, permanently upgrade a spell or something? I don't know. No, oh, and I was saying I needed more max HP, and there's some here. Okay, whatever. Let's let's have a look at this treasure chest. Ooh, fancy. Okay, they're boots. Oh, well, these are boots. Silken sandals. Holy spells and skills gain a charge. And they gain 5 minion duration, and they gain 25% damage. Damn. That'd be really cool if I was doing holy skills. <laughs> the blade stuff? All spells and skills gain four damage. Everything gains four damage? That's pretty nice with the life drain, because it seems like there's not that many ways to increase the damage that this deals. And especially, each point is a point of life that I gain back. Uh, and it, I mean, it does apply to the Bone Spear as well. So that might be worth grabbing here. We also have this Lightning Wand. Gain one radius, 50% uh, duration. And 50% damage. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. That is pretty fucking nuts for if you're doing lightning stuff. I mean, we did get this robe that does increase our lightning whatever. Or does apply when you cast lightning spells. So maybe I should be looking into, like, going into lightning or something? Cannibal Mask Helmet. When a living ally dies, a random wounded ally up to three tiles receives healing equal to the dead ally's max HP. Well, that's probably not going to be relevant for anything we're currently doing. Do we have any cool lightning stuff available? I mean, we have the lightning bolt, nice and simple. I don't think I want lightning bolt because it's very similar to bone spear in terms of functionality, so... Chain lightning, the classic. I think this is the skill that got me my first win, was chain lightning in the first game. I mean, it does what you would think it would do, it just bounces around and hits a bunch of stuff. Pretty strong. 
There, uh, I feel like everything here I'm seeing here is this, uh, the same. I don't think this is new. Oh, this is different. Is it? Oh, no. Is it ball lightning? It's an orb type. Yeah, okay. Wait, what's this thing? thing? I can't even remember, dude. There's too many things. Mm, arc lightning? I don't remember this. <laughs> I want garden. Yeah, uh, I'm not reading this. I'm sure it does something cool, but that's too many words. Okay, I mean, it's mostly as it seemed to have been. Radius, duration, and damage. Is there anything here that I feel like that would make a really big difference for? So I don't think it applies radius to things that don't have a radius, and the same thing for duration. It would make the stun on Thunderstrike pretty spicy, and the damage would go up quite a lot as well. I guess Cascade range doesn't count as radius, maybe? I'm not sure. I feel like working, like leaning into the stuff we've already taken is going to be better than pivoting into lightning here. I mean, it's still early, but eh, whatever. I want to try this new stuff. Let's take this blade stuff. All right, so now our life drain damage is up to seven. Ooh, and 20 damage on bone spear. That's pretty cool. All right, let's have a look around at these other things. So this rift, we got kobolds. Uh, these are sons of bitches because they have very long range. Uh, I hate them. Uh, they suck. They definitely, they badly outrange me, so I'm gonna have to like run up to them in order to kill them. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do suck. Slimes are, uh, they are annoying because they make more slimes and then, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. And the Mind Maggot, it's not that difficult to deal with, but um, you really don't want to let them hit you because they take your spell charges. Also, apparently they can grow wings now. That's cool. I hate that. Uh, overall, though, besides the kobolds, this looks like pretty doable with what we currently have. And I don't think the kobolds are going to be doing so much damage that I can't handle them. If I get rid of the kobold spawner... Oh, there's two of them. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this one. I mean, I, I would I would like the, the heart there, but... Uh, I really would like to know what these... Oh! Oh, you can see what they do if you scroll. Oh. It's a trinket. I see. The orbs are, are, take a trinket slot. Oh, and they just give you a damage buff for the relevant type. Oh, that's cool. So wait, what's here? Sorceress, Icy, Fire, Electric Mist. Okay, so no blood. Sad. One Spear is a sorcery, but like, eh, yeah, that's not really going to super apply to the stuff we're doing here. What about over here? The Lens, I assume it's a similar thing, but for range? Yeah, one range for relevant things. But again, we're not getting the right types here, you know? We're the right type of... I should say specifically. I mean, I could settle for like dark maybe, but eh, even that's not great. We're pretty pretty focused on doing blood stuff right now, so but yeah, maybe maybe we do want to try and take on this then. Ugh, god. Is there something I can get that like will let me range these stupid goblins? What the heck is this? Lumbriogenesis? Sacrifice half your HP, round it up, and summon a worm ball with that much HP. God, okay. Regen three per turn. They have a melee attack dealing. Damage equal to half their max HP. If you sacrifice 50 or more HP, summon a Worm Shambler instead of a Worm Ball. But you need to get some HP ups before that becomes a thing you can do, really. I don't know. If I still feel like I'm not super into doing summoning stuff. Like, it could be... I mean, it seems like that's a, a fairly supported archetype with uh, the stuff that's available here. But, like, eh. Devour Flesh. Devour an allied living unit to heal yourself for its current HP. Oh. Oh. So you can make, like, the worm, and then you can eat the worms. and That's pretty gross. I don't know if I like that. Controlled appetite. Instead of killing it, you only steal as much HP as you're missing. Huh. Also, he allies into your... Slain living units are raised as burning skeletons. Okay. Sure. Blood shift. What is this? That's a, is this not translocation? Okay. Enemies of Fortile Burst take 18 dark damage. Damn. Okay. When an enemy is dealt damage this way, you or a random wounded ally in the targeted area is healed for half that amount. Oh. Oh my god, this costs 99 hit points? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, there's some pretty crazy stuff going on in here. Alright, let's not let's try not to get too far off track. None of this is, is a good answer to the kobolds, which is the thing that I'm 
gonna be pestered by here i think i like it's not that bad you can use like breaking line of sight to force the cobalt to get closer to you and then deal with them so maybe that's just gonna be the plan here maybe i'll just start over here and we'll get rid of the cobalt spawner and sort of figure it out from there uh i'm not entirely convinced that my ability to handle this whole map with the spells that i currently have but maybe it'll be fine Oh, I do do. I am dealing extra damage, so it's probably okay. Should I grab this ruby heart to start with? It's not super in the way, but that's fine. I can clear it without it. Yeah, I feel confident. So we hit the spawner with that. Wow, this thing, it, it got the wings immediately. That's really fucked up, actually. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's just, just kill it. Just make it go away. Uh, speaking of making things go away, uh, no. This one's in kind of a weird spot. Oh. Oh, fuck, the slimes have physical resist. I didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't really notice that. You see, this is the problem. <laughs> There's, like, every single individual system in this game is, is fairly simple, but it, it just takes one little oversight like that to, like, really screw you over badly. It's okay. This isn't, like unrecoverable or whatever but it's not ideal you know okay i didn't did i actually gain life back from that i don't think i did oh i did okay oh fuck's sake just go away <laughs> fucking ugh can i hit the goblin and the thing with this or the kobold and the no no i can't is this gonna poison me no, it no, it, it does poison damage, but it doesn't inflict poison, so that's okay. Or just go away. And you. Clear off. Oh, right, you didn't die from that. Okay. Alright, I took some damage there. That's that's not ideal. I concede. Ugh, these stupid things, man. Ow. Eh. Oh, I'm getting brain bitten. Uh, I'm making bad decisions now. Why, why can the random things never target the thing that I actually need to be dead? Uh, I don't think I did this very efficiently, I gotta be honest. Is this gonna die to that? Yeah, it'll die, but... Is this gonna hit me? Not quite. Man. Can I get some life back? No, you're just gonna kill them with the stupid robe of agony. This turned out to maybe not be the best idea I ever had, actually. Um, pretty low on health. Okay. I could take some time to run over and grab this ruby heart. It does fill that 25 hit points if I pick it up. The problem is, like... I, it's gonna keep spawning goddamn kobolds while I'm doing that. Uh, but I'm probably gonna die relatively soon if I don't. What's the stupid. What's the range on this fucking thing? Uh, this. It's in line of sight. Okay. Can I see that kobold from where I currently am? No. There's not an option to be targeted. I would only get hit by one of them though, because it has too many. Or it doesn't have enough hit points, like, survive. Ow. Okay. We, get, we gained some hit points back there. That's not too bad. Ugh, you're such a... Why are you like this? Uh, I'm not going to be able to really... Because I have to be the one that comes around the corner. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily true, but... Oh, I can see it from here. I can't target it with life drain... How much does this cost again? It's five per bone spear? It's pretty rough in this situation. I can't gain any life off these stupid kobolds like this. Man, okay. Well, I could sit here and wait until it walks around the corner and then, like, zap it with the life drain. I won't gain anything, but at least I only lose one hit point, you know? Oh, uh, that's where I'm at, basically. Oh, fuck, you can hit me from there? Dude, fuck. Ah, uh, okay. What's it? What's it looking like now? All right, I can 
Uh, now it can it can see me from everywhere. Ouch. Oh, my God. Okay, that all. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Everything's fine. I wasn't. I was never in any danger, really. Ugh. Yeah, there's more pets over here. Oh, I can actually check what these do now because I know how to do that. Start each level with a troll-blooded spore beast. Okay, they don't tell me what they do actually, but yes. The okay, so the pets also take up the trinket slot, which would have been the same as like those orbs that we saw or the lenses, so. Spore beast, gnome lich, troll lich. Well, those sound lovely. Um, uh, what was this over here? Armor chest, more armor, hey. Oh, hey, I already have this. We'll replace the robe of agony, okay. Fey plates, also a robe. Oh, okay, so robes and plates, they all take up the chest slot, I guess. Gain shield each turn? What? That's crazy. So shield, uh, it does explain it in here, right? Oh no, it's on the stats, yeah. Status effects. If a unit with shield would be dealt damage, it loses shield instead. One shield. Does this count as damage? HP cost. It's a cost of HP. Does that count as taking damage? Probably not. I, ex I expect that paying hit points as a cost bypasses the shields, probably. It still makes it pretty hard to die, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is this, uh... The Robe of Agony uh, started becoming a problem. <laughs> uh, when I was trying to life drain the little guys and they were just getting killed instead. But I was able to man uh, like to make it work, and the amount of like control that it gives, like that it spreads the damage around, is probably going to be more beneficial overall. Probably. And I don't need this robe of crystals. It's we already saw this. I think we could just try to get more max HP. I'm sure that's useful. I have six SP now, so I could probably get something spicy. Something I haven't looked at yet, by the way. I've been sparing you all from it. You'll see sometimes it'll say like, oh, all X spells and skills will do whatever new thing. So in addition to the spell list that we've already been looking at, there's a skill list. Uh, and these are like passive effects that you can get. There's less of them, but they can have very transformative effects on the, on the way your build functions. Uh, what do we have on the blood front, I guess, for reference? Okay, that just, that cares about allies. That's probably not super relevant. Every six hit points spent casting spells summon a blood gas for 13 turns. That's kind of cool. Uh, blood reaping. When a, when an enemy demon or living unit dies, gain 2 HP. Oh. Chemo corruption. Oh. When an enemy unit heals, deal that much poison. Okay. And then you've got the lore type spell, uh, skill. I think each, I don't know if it's every single one. I think all of the, um, every school has like a Lord skill that's, they cost a lot, but it improves every, uh, spell of that category. One max charge, two range, three minion damage, and 50% minion health, and they deal 50% more damage. Wow. That's a lot of things. Scent of blood. Whenever 200 damage is dealt by blood or nature spells, skills, or summons, summon a bloodhound. Well, I don't know what bloodhounds do, and the the game doesn't want to tell me. All right, fair enough. That might just be an oversight. Um, hmm. I six, yeah. So I'm actually I'm pretty close to being able to get this if I wanted to. I don't know if now is really the time though. I'm sorry. Does that say immortal fire bomber? What the fuck does that mean? Reincarnates when killed two times. Oh, cool. Great. Uh, I don't know what to do here. And that's the thing is like this game it just gives you so many options at every single turn and it is very it is very complex trying to navigate with just the the breadth that is open to you you know but that's what makes it fun i don't know i think my brain is uh, failing me i'm bad at this game to begin with because of, on account of how stupid i am but um also, recording and talking about it is like fucking. I'm overheating. We've been recording for an hour. I've been recording for an hour. Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's let's wrap it up there then. I'll um maybe I'll I'll take some time <laughs> off camera to consider my options a little more and uh, come to some kind of conclusion. But yeah, that that was the first episode. Wow, we we got to through four levels of easy shit. In an hour, God, this is gonna be. I don't even know how this series is gonna look. Maybe it'll just be the one playthrough until I cark it, which is probably gonna be coming up shortly. Or 
I don't know, maybe I'll win. That seems unlikely. Maybe I'll keep playing this game until I win? I could be doing this series for a very fucking long time, if that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, and uh, also, I mean, whatever. Persona 3 is still going to be ongoing. I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to, like, alternate days or whatever while I'm doing this. I was just excited about this video game and I wanted to, like, do something about it, so... But yeah, I'm going to go away and think about things. Uh, anyway, I'll be back. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in the next one.